Janome. Hello, everyone, and thank you so much for joining me. My name is Michael Smith. I'm the National Consumer Education Manager of Genome Canada, and I'm coming to you from the Genome Sewing and Learning Center in Oakville, Ontario, to talk about yet another of the fabulous long arms in the Genome arsenal to help you get your quilting projects done faster and easier than ever. It's so much fun and so much we can do with our fabulous <gasps> brand new, yes, Genome Quilt Maker Pro 20. We started off about four years ago debuting the Genome Quilt Maker Pro 18 with a generous 18 inches of throat space. Then we added a smaller machine for those with a little tighter space. We have the Genome Quilt Maker Pro 16 with a 16 inch throat space. We added the brand new Genome Quilt Maker Pro 18 Versa, which recesses into a table so you can use it standing up or sitting down. And now we have the fabulous Ooh, Genome Quilt Maker Pro 8 or Quilt Maker Pro 20 with a very generous 20 inch throat space, 10 inches tall, lots of room. The bigger the quilt, the better. It really doesn't matter what you're quilting, uh, the Genome Quilt Maker Pro 20 will accommodate. Now, I have the machine set up on a 8 foot frame, but ultimately it comes with a 12 foot frame. The ingenious uh, engineering behind all of these long arms is the table comes in three three four foot sections. So I have a joint right here in the bars. So here is four feet. So if you're really fighting for space but would love a long arm quilting machine, again, you've got that generous 20 inch throat space, but you could set it up in a four foot configuration to take up less room or set it up as eight feet as I have here. This will still accommodate Look at this nice, big, beautiful t-shirt quilt that was quilted on this Quilt Maker Pro 20. So again, nice, big quilts you can still accommodate on your eight foot frame. But you know, if you still have more room, then yes, you add the other four foot section on. So you get a total of 12 feet. Now, if you are fighting for space right now, again, set it up as four feet or eight feet, store the other four feet, and maybe down the road, two years down the road, let's say uh, you, you know, the kids move out of the house, you can take over the spare bedroom, you finally finish off the basement or that room over the garage, now you have room for a bigger machine, well great, you already own that extra four feet, so how perfect is that? So it, you can totally, again, accommodate any style of quilting, any size quilting with the Genome Quilt Maker Pro 20. Now speaking of this very cool frame, it is fully adjustable, so we can adjust it in height. Each section is fully supported with, this is the center leg in each of your uh, three sections there. So again, your table is fully supported, uh, fully adjustable in height. Uh, these are the legs that uh, come with the machine. So again, fully adjustable because you know nobody's floor is entirely level. <laughs> so you can uh, adjust the legs that way, or you, know, you can purchase from your fabulous Genome dealer these uh, optional locking casters. So these are great, uh, especially if you are again uh, fighting for space, maybe you need to move your machine out of the way. So it's great having these locking casters uh, because you know you're only quilting on one side of the machine at a time. So if you are at the front of the machine doing some free motion or some ruler quilting, you can push your machine all the way up against the, the back wall. You only need to walk around one side of the machine at the time, so maybe this side goes up against the wall and you walk around from the other side. If you would like to purchase the optional rear handlebars and laser light, then we can go to the back of the machine to follow a paper pantograph that's on the table. And then again, we can wheel the machine so then it's up against the wall here at the front. So again, you can really fit the long arm in uh, better than you may think possible, especially with uh, those casters. So you can easily move it around. Now the frame itself is very cool. We've got the uh, pickup bar here. So as our quilt grows in size, it's going to be on this pickup roller here. Again, we've got this beautiful 20 inch by 10 inch throat space. So uh, king size quilts can easily accommodate uh, regardless of your thickness of batting. 
We've got the uh, idle bar here. Some people call it the dead bar because it just kind of lays there. But it actually has a function that it keeps, again, my quilting surface, the quilt itself, you know, nice and uh, taut and nice and flat as we're doing our quilting. So that's good. As we come around here, we've got this is our quilt backing bar. Now this is quite a unique configuration because normally with most other long arms, the quilt top roller is sitting up top and then the quilt uh, backing bar is beneath it. But instead, here on the Quiltmaker Pro 20, we have this as the backing bar, and then down here, this is your quilt top bar. So this, again, a fully unobstructed view of my quilting area, and particularly when we get into ruler quilting and we have some of our very cool, so comfortable uh, Janome long arm quilting rulers, then again, I have a fully unobstructed quilting area here. I don't have to worry about another bar sitting up here getting in the way of my ruler. So it's a really great system. Again, beautiful to hold everything nice and taut as you're doing your quilting. They also have this very cute little uh, uh, configuration called the cradle. So when we're going to load our uh, quilt backing or the quilt top bar and just to make it a little more ergonomically friendly we can easily unsnap again no tools with one hand I can unsnap the quilt top bar bring it up to the cradle do all my pinning here or if we've got the uh, like red snappers or the leader grips on how we're going to attach our fabric to our leaders. Again, we can move the bar up here to the cradle and then very easily, you know, snap it back into place. So it's really great having that cradle again to just to bring the bars up a little bit more ergonomically friendly as you're doing, you know, that pinning uh, to the leaders and then you snap it back into place. So very cool. Uh, we've got the little bungees off to each side to again attach your fabric. You want it nice and taut, but you don't want to pull it too much because you know, then, you know, after your quilting is done and if you release these clamps, you don't want your uh, quilt to then shrink. So uh, we use these bungees that are fully adjustable uh, just to keep the fabric taut, uh, not too tight. Now, some of the fabulous things that come with your Janome Quiltmaker Pro 20. Oh, we have like all of our Janome long arms come with this fabulous big bobbin winder. I absolutely love this. That as we load whatever kind of thread we would like to use, I love using our Madeira Aero quilt, again, available from your Janome dealer, but any kind of thread we'd like to use, and we can wind our own bobbins. The Janome Quiltmaker Pro 20, like all Janome long arms, uses the nice big M class metal bobbins and I love putting them up here on my spool bin uh, in case I need to load new bobbins but the M class bobbins let you wind more thread on the bobbin so you're not changing them as frequently so that's good. You can use pre-wounds with your Janome Quiltmaker Pro 20 but again make sure that they are the M class bobbin. But why I love this bobbin winder is it has a stop start button and a speed control. So when we first uh, put our thread in the tension discs and we're going to wind our bobbin, I love turning the speed down low and then starting it up just to make sure everything is going to thread correctly. The thread's not going to jump out of the tensions. I know I've got it correct. I see it's winding the way that it should. Then I can stop it. Yes, it really is making sure everything is good. Or if it happens to jump out of the tension, we can, you know, stop. So we're not wasting all that thread. Stop it, fix it, and correct it. Once we know it's being wound correctly, then again, we can turn up the speed and go really fast. So very simple, very quick and easy to wind your own bobbins. No problem at all. And again, you don't even have to wind it completely full. There is an auto fill, so it's going to stop as soon as it's full. But let's say it's a color I don't typically use. So there's no point of winding a whole bobbin or if you're just going to be quilting a small area with that color. So I can wind the bobbin however much I need and easily just stop it. So that is great. So that's included with your Quiltmaker Pro 20. 
And of course, as always, you know, there's full instructions that it come included on how to assemble the frame and about the machine head itself. So more information in your manual. But there's also a lot of information online. You can go to our genomi.ca website and type in Quiltmaker Pro 20 in the search box there. And then up comes this brochure that you can uh, print out. And it gives you all the specs of the machine. Again, uh, the beautiful quilting space and some of the features with it. Uh, also on our genomi.ca site, you can do a, a machine comparison. So if you would like to know, well, why other than the space, you know, why is the Quiltmaker Pro 20 different than the Quiltmaker Pro 18, for example? Uh, again, other than the obvious throat space difference. So you can compare the various models to see, you know, which Janome long arm is the right one for you. So other things that come included in the machine, oh, of course, there's, again, extra bobbins, uh, our beautiful telescoping thread stand. And again, I love using that Madeira Aero quilt. And then everything that we need, there's even a little uh, sampling of thread so you can experiment with what thread that will uh, work with your machine, you just have to practice uh, adjusting your tensions. When we come down here to the fabulous LCD screen, you see the nice big screen. So we have lots of uh, controls, touch screen controls. Uh, our handlebars are very unique, and this is how uh, they differ from the other long arms, that I can loosen this little knob here and fully adjustable. So if we're doing some micro stippling, for example, I can uh, turn to that knob and adjust my handlebar so it is down lower. That maybe it's a little bit more comfortable again for me to do that micro stippling. Or then again, I can easily adjust it however I would like. So that's very cool. So each side uh, can adjust independently. Uh, we've got the push button controls on the handlebars, but you can also configure which uh, these buttons are, uh, which controls they are. So that's something that get you're in complete control on how you configure what each of these buttons do. There's a stop and start, there's the uh, needle up and down, uh, you can adjust the speed control, you can adjust the uh, stitch length all on your handlebars or again on your beautiful LCD screen. Now as we come down here to see the actual uh, quilting surface there, we have our um, hopping foot which uh, we can change out with some of the optional hopping feet available. Now, one thing we all love are these magnets that are behind our big LCD screen, but we have these beautiful magnets. So this cute little Allen wrench that comes with the machine, again, is what we're going to use to switch out our hopping foot or when we switch out our needles. Uh, what's uh, included with your Janome Quiltmaker Pro 20 are two packages of needles. Uh, they're the high-speed industrial needles that are round. They're not the flat-back needles that we use in our domestic machines. So we want to make sure from our Janome dealer we get those round industrial needles. And again, my little tools I can keep up here on the magnets. My little scissors <laughs> I keep up on the magnets. Uh, extra pins, you know, whichever, they can be up on the magnets. So that's a great feature. But back again to our needle as I'm jumping all over the place. There's so much to talk about. Uh, you'll see, oh yes, I have a laser light that yes, we can switch off if we want, but I love having that laser light. So then it's pinpointing exactly where my needle is. So I know at all times exactly where my needle is. If you have some stitching around applique, for example, uh, that you want to go right into the corner, you have that laser light. So that's a very cool feature. Again, unique to the Janome Quiltmaker Pro 20. As I do some stitching here, I like to raise up my bobbin thread. I just do needle up and down. Or, you know, we do have on our big LCD screen here, we do have this little flywheel that will raise and lower the needle as well. So isn't that cool? We don't have to go all the way to the back of the machine to turn the uh, balance wheel by hand. We can do it on our LCD screen or we could do it on our handlebars to raise the needle up and down. So isn't that cool? So I love to bring up my bobbin thread and then again we just hit start and away we go. Now you will see I just have a couple of fingers and a thumb on that handlebar. I, I'm doing this completely one-handed. 
you do not need a death grip in order to move this machine, even though it has that beautiful, generous 20-inch throat space. Uh, it's, and it's a big machine, but on the carriage, on the table, it is just like quilting on air. It's really amazing how easy it is to move this machine. And again, the table is fully height adjustable and the handlebars as well, fully height adjustable. So how cool is that? I'm using some of this Madeira multicolor thread. Isn't that gorgeous? Like, oh, I love it. We have tons of LED lighting around here, the needle, and all that LED lighting in the throat space. Like, how beautiful is that? Now, the cool thing is you can go into your settings on your LCD screen and actually uh, turn off your lighting if you wish, depending on where uh, you know, you may be, if you're using, you know, black fabric and, and black thread, sometimes it's better to switch off that lighting. Uh, when we go into our settings, though, we have a lot uh, that we can change the language, certainly. We have a tie-off function, so we can control, just like we do on some of our uh, domestic sewing machines, you know, we have that lock stitch button. So the configure tie-offs is the same as that lock stitch. So we can have five tie-offs or two tie-offs where it basically will just stitch in place and uh, knot the threads securely so then we can trim the threads and nothing's gonna ravel. Uh, we do have some alarms here, like a low bobbin alarm that you can set and a thread break sensor, just like we have on a lot of our top of the line uh, Janome domestic sewing machines. We have those same kind of uh, alarms here on our Janome Quiltmaker Pro 20. So the, our needle laser light, again, we can switch it off if we need, although personally, I love this feature. So I will always leave it on. Again, if we configure our um, handlebar controls, we can do that here. Our low bobbin alarm, we can totally adjust that here. Go into our tools, we even have a calculator. <laughs> so if you'd like to calculate, you know, how big your quilt is, you can do that here on your machine. We have uh, timers even. You can set the timer for, oh, if you want to quilt for an hour, let's say. Uh, you can set a timer and then it'll go off and remind you, oh, it's been an hour. So isn't that wonderful? There's so many, uh, again, tools that we have here built into the machine. Again, our lighting, we can switch off the, the main light here in the bed, or we can switch off the ring light. So again, if you're using black fabric and, and black thread, maybe it'll be better to turn off that light. Uh, or we can switch all the lights off, and again, you see that laser light. Isn't that wonderful? So you can totally customize and adjust as your needs. Uh, also on the LCD screen, we've got the information. So then we've got this cool little cheat sheet, like this needle thread chart. So it gives you some suggestions on your needle size, uh, your thread weight, what type of thread you'll use. Again, it gives you that little uh, graphic of your tension. Now, there's some fabulous videos our uh, long arm quilting expert, uh, Kelly McKenzie, did that are on the Genome America uh, YouTube channel. And she's gone through a bunch of videos on how to adjust your tensions, for example. So you can definitely check those out. Uh, it's wonderful having this Genome Quiltmaker Pro uh, thread tension journal here. So as you're doing your adjusting of your machine, and specifically your tension, it too gives you a little cheat sheet in here, but then you can write down all the particulars of, oh, you're using the Madeira Aero Quilt Thread, for example, and you're gonna be adjusting your tension, what kind of batting you're using, all of that you can write here as a reference. So then you can go back uh, two days from now, two months from now, two years from now, and see exactly how your machine was set up in order to recreate that the next time you're going to be quilting. Also, we have this cool little uh, threading chart built in. Again, there's full instructions in your manual, but that threading chart, if you'd like some suggestions, uh, some reminders, again, it's all built in step by step. Isn't that fabulous? We have this feature, again, on some of our top of the line uh, Janome domestic machines. So how fabulous that we have those same high-end features on this Janome Quiltmaker Pro 20. We also have the information, the lifetime stitch count. So far, I've done 163,000 stitches on this machine. It's been turned on a total of just over two hours, and then it shows, again, what version the machine is. So if ever there is an update down the road to some of this 
uh, you know, computer technology, we can easily insert a USB stick into the USB ports built into the machine and update this software. Again, if ever that comes down the road. But this uh, Quiltmaker Pro 20 is brand, brand new. So how fabulous is that? So yes, yeah, so I'll go back to my home screen and then we will talk about some uh, features that the machine has again built in. We do have again that uh, low bobbin alert that we can set. But when I was talking about threading earlier that we have this very cool feature. It's a digital thread tension display which is down here that number 39. So over at the side of the machine we have the, it looks kind of like that old-fashioned beehive tension uh, but it's very cool because then as I turn that knob, this number here on the screen is changing. So we can set our bobbin tension. That's the first thing that we want to do. And again, uh, Kelly McKenzie has uh, some videos on, again, Genome America's YouTube channel about adjusting your bobbin tension. Once you get that set, then you can thread your uh, needle thread, and then you can turn this dial. Now you'll do your little bit of stitching. I always like to have a little scrap off to the side of the machine that we can practice our stitching and test out the tensions. If while you're doing your stitching, and if you start seeing, oh, maybe I see some bobbin thread, then you can either uh, loose, you can either tighten your bobbin thread or you can loosen your needle thread. Uh, conversely, if you see your needle thread under, if you look under the quilt and you see your needle thread, you can either loosen your bobbin tension or you need to tighten your needle thread. So you can do that very easily here on the digital tension display. And then again, you write that number down in your fabulous little uh, thread tension journal, again available as an additional accessory from your Genome dealer. So then that way, again, you can record, okay, I've used this Madeira Aero quilt thread, it looks beautiful at number 40. But then down the road, you go back to number 40 then, so then you have an easier a uh, guideline on how to adjust that tension. But maybe this time you notice, oh, maybe the thread or the fabric is a little more taut on the frame, or maybe it's a batik fabric instead of just the regular quilting cotton. So maybe instead of 40, maybe you're adjusting this to, you know, uh, 41, 45, or whichever. So you have a lot of control to adjust the tension just as you need to. And once you get it set, uh, away you go. Now we have two modes of stitching. Stitch regulated, which is fabulous. Uh, we have 2,500 stitches per minute. So yes, this machine can fly. Right now I've been using it fairly you know, slow, but yeah, you can really go to town and do your quilting very quick and easy. Now, people ask me, can I outrun the stitch regulator? Well, technically, yes, you can. I don't see why you'd want to. Uh, my car will go 300 kilometers an hour, for example. I certainly don't want to drive that fast. So you can outrun it, but again, you no, don't need to. I think 2,500 stitches is pretty fast. I know I don't quilt at that speed. Uh, so, but you have lots of, again, adjustment. Uh, so in your stitch regulated mode, we have two further modes of stitching. So we have the precision mode, which means when I stop moving the machine, the needle is going to stop in place. Now your table has to be level. <laughs> but yes, the machine is going to stop in place uh, whenever you stop moving it. So that's in the precision mode. And that's especially good to use if we use the optional ruler foot that again is available. Then we use our rulers and every time that we adjust and move the ruler, again the machine is stopping, the needle is stopping, so we can safely make those adjustments. So that's when I like using the precision mode. But then, if we go back to the cruise mode, we can adjust the motor speed here. And right now my motor's up as high as it'll go. Now cruise mode, I'm not moving the machine, but the needle is still cycling up and down. It's like the idling is on your car. You know, you've got the engine on, but you're not going anywhere. So the cruise mode is good to use if I'm quilting always when I do my uh, testing for my tension, 
I always like doing these little kind of pointy stars, those uh, like five points of stars or however many points you'd like. Uh, but I like doing these sharp points to test the tension. But by having that cruise mode, it drops that little extra stitch right into the corner. So it's going to be a nice sharp point every time that it's not going to skip the stitch or it's not going to pull up that bobbin thread. It's going to just drop that little extra stitch in the corner so it's a nice sharp point. Uh, also, if we're at the back of the machine, again with the optional rear handlebars and laser light, we can do paper pantographs from the back of the machine. And cruise mode is recommended, especially if we're doing something, you know, very flowery and, and floral, lots of vines, lots of undulating curves. Again, they're, they're just a little softer in the, in the cruise mode. So there's, again, whatever kind of quilting you want to do, you can do it with your Junome Quilt Maker Pro 20. Now, we also have the manual mode. So you'll notice as soon as I switch to manual mode, again, I can adjust the motor speed. In manual mode, the motor is the same speed no matter how quick or how slow I move the machine. If I move it too fast, oh, that's when I get these big, they look like basting stitches, which is great. Uh, maybe if I'm going to baste down my quilt top, again, I can do it in manual mode, although there is a built-in basting stitch, uh, do. Uh, but yes, these are to actually quilt. Wow, those are really long stitches. I call those uh, toenail catchers. So we need to either move our hands slower or we need to up the motor speed. And I find when people are beginning uh, in free motion quilting, they move their hands too fast and the motor speed is not fast enough. And this is true on domestic machines as well as long arms. So here I can adjust the uh, speed on the LCD screen or I do have, I can adjust plus or minus on my handlebars. So how cool is that? So now, oh yes, my machine is much faster. And again, quilting one-handed. I see, oh, those stitches look way better to me. They look way more consistent. So by upping the motor speed and slowing down your hands, you will get a more consistent result. However, maybe, again, I'm going to switch out my hopping foot and use that uh, ruler foot and use some uh, rulers. So maybe in manual mode, I'd like to actually quilt at a slower speed. So we do have some presets here, three presets. So we can adjust these numbers however much we wish. So if I'd like to do ruler quilting, maybe I'm doing it at a slower speed. Uh, maybe I'm going to do an all over meander, you know, so I can adjust it so it's uh, faster or again, ruler. Uh, ruler quilting, I will turn down a little slower. So then again, I can um, move it a little slower, a little more safely with the rulers. But then if it's an all over, then again, I like to really turn up that motor. And again, I can do so on my LC or on my handlebars as well. So again, it's whatever you're most comfortable in doing. You've got lots of control. Now we can also, uh, again, program, do we want our needle to stop in the up position or down position, just like on our domestic machines. Uh, here's that little tie-off function that I talked about earlier. So whenever we're done our quilting, we can just hit the little tie-off. And again, we can program in our settings how many tie-offs that will be. And again, how cool is that? So whenever you're done your quilting, just do your little tie-off. And then I like to pull the machine up out of the way, drop it back to where I left off. And then again, our scissors so handily <laughs> stored very safely up on the magnets away, not on our quilting surface. And then we can trim off our threads. So that way we don't have to crawl under the quilt to trim our threads. Uh, that way everything is neat and clean. And once we take this quilt off the frame, we're done. So isn't that fabulous? Now, as I mentioned earlier, with the optional rear handlebars and laser light, they come as a package, again, available from your Janome dealer. Then I'm able to use the fabulous uh, Janome Quilt Maker Pro 20 uh, from the back of the machine that with the 
optional rear handlebars. It comes with another, that same beautiful big LCD screen with those same adjustments. The rear handlebars, again, those same adjustments. So uh, I don't have to relearn any new functions. Everything is exactly the same as it is on the front of the machine. So with the rear handlebars and the laser light, I can now put a paper pantograph, again, readily available, and you can have any kind of uh, quilting design. You don't have to worry about you know, marking your fabric. You don't have to worry about, uh, oh, I'm not that creative to think of my own quilting designs. Uh, again, very easy to get a paper pantograph and you'll follow the laser light to do your quilting. So how simple, how easy it is. Now, the cool thing about following this laser light, again, oh, I wasn't quite on my line oh don't worry about it no one is ever going to take this paper up against your quilting surface so if you happen to be a little wide in your curve it really won't matter at all and again i can just fly with 2200 stitches per minute how quick and how easy that is to get your quilt projects done and again, no one is ever going to take this paper and put it up against your quilt surface. So if you happen to be off a little, don't worry about it at all. The main thing is just go with it. I call it uh, much like dancing with your machine. The more relaxed you are, the more that your shoulders are back and you breathe, the better your results will be. Now, the cool thing again about these rear handlebars, optional rear, uh, rear handlebars, they are fully adjustable. We do have a tool I like even keeping right here. There's a cool little hole that I just keep this tool here because this is how we can adjust our rear handlebars. Again, just like our front handlebars could be adjusted, our rear handlebars could be adjusted too. When you're quilting, you want your elbow to be about at a 90 degree angle. So depending on what is more comfortable for your grip. And you know, if you're quilting for uh, quite, you know, a number of hours and you feel like, oh, my arms are getting tired, my wrists are getting tired. How about adjusting your handlebar? And that maybe that will change, uh, you know, the, the grip and that'll change like that, that soreness in your arm. So it's really cool to have those uh, features that can be customized. So that's what you get with your fabulous Janome Quilt Maker 20. Now, some of the fabulous accessories available for your Janome Quilt Maker Pro 20. Oh, I mentioned this ruler foot, for example. Very cool, nice high profile. It's got some little divots there so I can see exactly where my needle is. So again, with the included Allen wrench that just uh, hangs up on our little magnets there, I can easily switch this out. Just raise up your foot a little bit to drop that foot. I love, again, putting it up on the additional spool pin. So then that way I'm not losing it. I'm not losing track of it. I certainly don't want to leave it down on the quilting surface. So once I get this ruler foot in, then we can do some ruler quilting. Now, also what we need for our ruler quilting is tighten that up and again our tools up off our quilting surface by using those magnets so what we need is ooh, the fabulous it's a 12 inch by about 11 inch ruler base that is available again to go with your Janome quilt maker pro 20 and we can use any of the rulers again in our fabulous Janome so comfortable line we have a whole range of rulers uh, or templates, you know, circles and arcs, and uh, there's a stitch in the ditch ruler. This is a cool wave ruler. Uh, there's more about these rulers on our Janome Life blog, um, all about the Janome So Comfortable line of products to again help make your uh, quilting faster and easier than ever. You can also again talk to your fabulous Janome dealer. So I'm gonna raise my bobbin, there we go. And then again, with that ruler base, you can see then here's the, the imprint of that ruler base. So I have a nice big flat surface to support whatever ruler, whatever shape, so we can safely quilt around. Once again, oh, and I'm gonna switch to my precision mode. So then again, my needle is going to stop when I stop. And then now I'm going to safely move that ruler, however you need to. So like, how fun is that? You can totally 
get all your quilting done again quicker and easier than ever. Isn't that so fun? So again, any kind of quilting, if you want to do free motion quilting, ruler quilting, uh, paper pantograph uh, quilting with the optional rear handlebars and laser light. Again, those come as a set, they come together. So whatever kind of quilting you'd like to do, the Janome Quiltmaker Pro 20 will do. Now some of the other fun feet. Oh, we've got our echo foot and our square feet. We've got our um, couching feet. Uh, there's so many things uh, available. Another fabulous fun foot available for your Janome Quiltmaker Pro 20 and actually all of our Janome Quiltmaker long arm machines. Again, the couching feet. There's a set of three. And again, what I love, Janome always thinks of everything. There's even a little extra screw in case you lose that little screw, they include one. But I have one of the couching feet on and some yarn. You know, I'd love to be a knitter, but I have no time for an extra hobby. So this way I can get my yarn fix. And there is a little hole in the foot that keeps the yarn directly under the needle. Normally when we're doing couching on our domestic machine, we're using a zigzag stitch, but your Janome Quiltmaker Pro 20 will only do a straight stitch. So by having the couching feet, uh, then that yarn stays directly under the needle. So I just have some of my yarn off loose. We don't want our yarn to pull tight because then it's a little harder to stitch down. But look at that, any kind of shape I want then we can really add some fun dimension to our quilts. We could do this down a border, uh, down a binding to add some texture, or again, maybe we're gonna be quilting some fabric that we're gonna cut up and make into some other projects, which I'll show in just a minute. Now, one thing I definitely wanted to show, ooh, look at this beautiful tool tray, again available from your Janome Dealer as an uh, extra accessory, so um, optional accessory that you can get that I have all these wonderful compartments that you can customize. So all my little, oh, like my green painter's tape that I love using. Uh, I don't like really marking my quilts with pencils or pens uh, in case they don't wash out. So I can use the green painter's tape to mark like straight lines on my quilt, or I like using good old fashioned uh, white chalk, you know, from the, the dollar store, then that's good because I know that'll brush out very easily. So I can keep all of that. Oh, maybe my extra needles here that again come with your machine, but then you can also uh, stack up and keep your optional um, extra accessories like, oh yes, your extra bobbins. So this tool tray will clip on over the uh, pickup bar the take up bar of the machine so it will just stay off to the side so all of your tools that you need your extra scissors oh maybe some uh, little cotton swabs to uh, clean up your bobbin area all of that your extra Janome sewing machine oil, all of that can stay in this tool tray off to the side, but uh, very conveniently at your fingertips as well. So that optional tool tray, again available from your Janome dealer, is a great accessory for your Janome Quiltmaker Pro 20. Now some of the fun, fabulous projects you can make with your Janome Quiltmaker Pro 20 when I was talking about, oh, the couching feet. Yes, you can couch your fabric and then cut it up into other projects. So this cute little travel pillow I made, you know, will fit in my carry-on luggage. And how cute, it's just again, very inexpensive yarn using that uh, couching foot. So how fun is that? Or again, how about quilting your fabric. It doesn't have to be big bed quilts all the time. You can, again, using rulers, I did all this cross hatching on the fabric first, did some embellishment on this pocket, and then cut up the fabric to make a tote bag. And of course, those of you who make some tote bags and stuff, you know how addicting they are. So yes, again, more cross hatching, so simple, so easy to do with rulers, did a little free motion quilting in there. So you can combine your techniques. You know, there's also an optional Pro Stitcher Premium computer specifically for the Janome Quiltmaker Pro 20. We have a Janome, um, 
the Pro Stitcher Premium Computer for the Janome Quiltmaker Pro 18, but we also have a specific Quiltmaker Pro Premium Computer for the Janome Quiltmaker Pro 20. So with the Pro Stitcher Premium Computer, the machine is stitching all by itself. You can again uh, let it set it up for its stitching, let it uh, stitch out, and then again cut up that fabric into other projects. Again, it doesn't always have to be big bed quilts. How about a table runner or a bed runner? So this is could be some free motion quilting, ruler quilting in the middle, uh, just added these borders, a little bit of binding, a little bit of extra punch with that little touch of red. So simple, so easy to do, didn't really take a whole lot of time. So again, table runners, uh, bed runners, uh, placemats even. Uh, how about as you're doing your uh, practice, Stippling, for example, with a little bit of free motion. Again, don't waste that fabric. I just uh, did some couching uh, on my domestic machine with a zigzag stitch to couch down that yarn. Uh, I suppose I could have used the couching foot on the uh, Quiltmaker Pro 20 to just finish off that edge. And there, now I've got some mug rug. So how easy is that? Or how about, again, a placemat? Do your quilting, again, ruler quilting, free motion quilting, maybe with the paper pantograph or with the optional Pro Stitcher Premium computer available, then yes, we could do our quilting. Again, a little bit of couching on the outside edge so I don't have to bind it uh, the, in the traditional manner. And again, how simple is that? Uh, this I stitched out with the Pro Stitcher these cute little cement trucks, built-in designs, and a little bit of couching, and now I have a cute little scarf. So again, there's so many things you can do with your Janome Quiltmaker Pro 20 and all of our Janome long arms. Uh, again, not just uh, bed quilts anymore. So make sure you check out our Janome.ca for more information. Uh, check out some videos from the Janome America YouTube channel. Check out our Janome Life blog for blogs about all the Janome long arms and definitely check with your fabulous Janome dealer. Thank you so much for joining me and happy quilting.